<laughs> Hi there, welcome to the Animals Naturally podcast with me, Suzanne. The aim of this podcast is to help you to get ideas on how to care for your animals naturally. Whether that's your pet or other animal, there's a whole world of complementary therapies and holistic approaches that you can use to help your animal to be as happy as possible, as naturally as possible. I'm founder of Taranet, a leading natural animal healthcare resource at taranet.co.uk, which has a whole directory of complementary therapies and also business advice for pet care entrepreneurs. In this edition of the podcast, I'm going to give you ideas on how to care for your animal when you're moving house, particularly if you are downsizing as well. There's different things you could be um, doing to help your animal, your pet to be as happy and comfortable as possible with what can be a stressful move for anybody at the end of the day when you're moving house moving can be very stressful for people and certainly for our pets if only because they can pick up on our stress too so what sort of things could you do to make moving house a bit more comfortable for your pet well first of all um is to think about when you're downsizing when you're clearing out baby i'm um, just old clutter or old, old clothes old furniture old, old belongings when you're moving house often you might want to have a clear out well, the first thing to do is to think about how your animal is going to cope with all of this because they may be, and um, whether that's your cat, dog or, or other animal, they may be used to things being a certain place and just find it a bit unsettling that things are, are changing. Back flower remedies are a holistic way to help animals cope with change. The back flower remedy system, there's 38 remedies and another one called rescue remedy, and they are really useful um, in terms of helping with different emotional states. And particularly when you look into the different remedies there are, and there are trained practitioners around the world who work with animals, and you can also take online courses um, as well into how to get an introduction to back flower remedies. Um, they can really help with different emotional um, responses. So if you really understand your animal and what they're, they're, whether they're fearful, they're um, overexcited, whatever it might be, there's a back flower remedy that can help. Now, they might seem really simple as a system. How can a, a little uh, lip of liquid help um, an animal? Well, they can be used for people too. Um, actually, they are really quite powerful. So it's worth giving it a go. So um, do look at my advice page which I put a note to in the links um, and as I say there is um, a, a lot of information you can go to from approved professional centres such as the back flower remedy centre the back centre but I put the links in the um, in the post of the comments of this post of this podcast so um, look after yourself obviously when you're moving house um, try to eat well get sleep exercise regularly if your dog goes out um, however many times a day normally, say twice a day or three times a day or whatever it is, try and maintain that throughout the whole process. So they're disrupted as little as possible. Obviously, having a dead set of fixed routine can create problems in itself, but um, try to be as fairly normal as possible in what you're doing so your animal um, is not adversely affected and it's um, hey, ha- make, keeps them as happy as possible. So you may also, when you're moving house, want to um, think about redecorating or just um, cleaning cleaning it up, making sure it's in good condition. And if you've got a garden, making sure it's in good condition too. Um, So think about the products you're using to clean um, or in your garden, different plants as well. Some are poisonous to animals. Um, Unfortunately, some paints can be... um, the smell of them can be quite um, unpleasant for some animals can, and, and they might obviously lick them as lick, lick walls as well. Um, so just think about the different products that you're using. Are they pet safe? Um, I'll give you some uh, a link to a blog post version of this podcast where there's some links to some ideas on how to make sure you are using the best products possible. So obviously when you're moving to your new property, um, Think about where it is. Obviously, when you'll um, you'll have your own um, things, you'll be wanting to think about in terms of the property you're going to. But actually, um, how is it going to help your? Um, how is it going to make sure your pet is happy? So, is there going to be a park or an open space you can walk to, easily access? Is there going to be a variety of places you can walk? Routine is critical for pets. So, um, and you obviously don't want to be doing anything that's going to adversely affect them. Um, and obviously you might never in, never purposely do that but it's quite a lot to think about sometimes so um, yeah there's some ideas there on how to help your pet be happy so I would say that the back flower remedy system is a really good one for emotional um, responses to situations and different um, whatever that might be um, use the back flower remedy 
such as gorse when you move to a new property so they can help them cope with change there are many others you can use as i said there will be a link um, other energy therapies can be really helpful too such as radionics reiki um, are really helpful so there are other ones you could try so i hope that's useful and i'll put say a link to a written version of this um podcast episode so you can get some more ideas and some links and i will post the links to um the directory of tarnet that i have which has information on the back flower remedies radionics um, and, and reiki as well so i hope that's been useful and um, please do share this with anybody you know who might be thinking of moving house who has a pet and would like some ideas on how to help consider your pet to be as, as um, happy as possible um, and if you've got any queries, then do email me at info at tarnet.co.uk or message me on social media. And there's a whole load of um, links to my accounts um, in the notes of the podcast and on my website at tarnet.co.uk too. OK, then thank you for listening and I shall see you next time. <laughs>